So you want to make your campus recreation programs more inclusive? This guide will teach you how to create an inclusive college recreation program. This is the final video of our three-part series. In the last video, we learned about organizations, partnerships, defining your audience and promotional items. In this video, we will discuss how to start your program and space accessibility assessments. Step five, how to begin your program and complete space accessibility assessments. When planning your inclusive campus recreation program, you will need to consider how you will start it. Looking at your campus recreation website and the timing of their sports seasons will help you align with what you plan to offer. Hopefully, you can set up your program through the same app or registration portal that the university uses. Before launching your program on this app or platform, make sure it has all the accessibility features your participants will need. Also, before the first session, think about the check-in process and equipment setup. You must determine how early participants should arrive before the program so they are ready to play. Other questions to consider are, what are other staff you will need outside of game officials and athletic trainers? Will students in a specific degree program help run the inclusive program? Or will a degree program such as recreation therapy train those in campus recreation? These guidelines need to be established to keep the program consistent from year to year. There is a good chance that, if your recreation center was built many years ago, not every entrance will be accessible. If your university plans to make upgrades to the campus recreation center, make sure they seek guidance on how to make entrances accessible by using ramps, sliding doors, accessible buttons, and adjustments to door frame size. Creating inclusive recreation opportunities should not be exclusive to the players. You should also consider the fan experience and the accessibility and inclusivity of the sports venues for the audience. The first thing you will need to do is perform an assessment. It should also be noted that the assessment is not a one-time project. At a minimum, yearly assessments should be performed. And if things such as sign placement are moved around, this could pose an obstacle for a person with a visual impairment and assessments may need to be done more frequently. If your facility does not meet current ADA standards, you will need to find an alternate event location. The efforts to creating an inclusive recreational program should not stop after the program is implemented. You should strive to create a program that is sustainable and successful. To achieve sustainable inclusion, you must consider ways to influence policy changes that support the participation of students with disabilities. The next step will be to collaborate with the institution's policymakers and stakeholders to create policies that can impact not only recreational opportunities, but also other types of programs offered on campus. Inclusion should always be a priority for the institution and should be considered in everything that the school offers. This guide simplified steps to creating an inclusive recreational program. Our goal is that this information will promote more opportunities for inclusive recreation. It will be a difficult process, but we hope that these steps will help you on your journey to becoming an advocate for inclusion.